Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 4, lesson 11, multiply across zeros. Guys, this lesson is just like the last one, uh, I mean lesson uh, 9, uh, but we will have some zeros in uh, our factors. So you know that any number multiplied by 0 gives us equals to 0. Okay, whenever you multiply any number with 0, it makes him also 0. So that is also equal to 0. Okay, the first one, we have to multiply 6 by 108. So 6 times 108, guys, again, don't see this one, it will confuse you. you multiply here, 108. Learn the process here, guys, and we'll follow this process to solve the whole lesson. 6 times 8 is 48, so we write 8 here and 4 above the 0. Now, 6 times 0 equals 0, plus 4 equals 4, and 6 times 1, 6. That's it, guys. Here, they are using the distributive property. It's 108, so they break it into 108 and write 6 here, okay? 6 times 100, 600, 6 times 8, uh, 48, so the answer is 600 plus 48, 648. Uh, this is the estimate. The same thing here is the estimate. Uh, 3 times 5, 15, 5 here, 1 up, 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7, 3 times 0, 0 and 3 times 2 6 got it guys similarly you will solve these questions and uh, no need of estimate okay you will solve these questions and match your answers from this video next page independent practice guys you can solve uh, these questions by yourself okay 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And you can match the answers from this video. Next page. Uh, guys, one thing here. Uh, they give you some missing things. So if you, you'll multiply them and find the unknown. Okay. Here now. A uh, large pool equipment set cost $1,042. A small pool equipment set cost $907. So how much does it cost to buy three large pool equipment set? So the large pool cost $1,042. So you multiply it by 3 equals 3126 How much more does it cost to buy two large pool equipment sets? Then two small pool equipment set. First, you multiply two with the large, the cost of large pool equipment set, and two with the cost of small pool equipment set. So first, you'll multiply one thousand forty-two times two, and nine hundred seven times 2 and then you will uh, find out their difference so 1042 times 2 is 2000 guys you have to solve it but I'm just writing the answer okay two thousand and eighty four dollars and nine hundred and seven times 2 equals one thousand eight hundred and fourteen dollars and then you will minus 1,824 from 2,084. So 2,084 minus 1,824 equals 260. Uh, sorry, it's not 60. This one is not 24. This is 1. So 2,800. 2084 minus 1814 it's not 24 I was uh, assuming it 24 
So 2084 minus 1814 equals 270 dollars. Okay, well, there's next one. Uh, dealer Elements is collecting money to donate to a charity 103 dollars each month. So how much in nine months? You'll multiply nine by 103 equals 927 dollars. Uh, complete the number sentence. You can complete it by other numbers also and explain the simple multiply. It means times and this one means equal. Okay. Uh, choose the different one. All these three, their answer is 6030, but this one is not 6030. It's something like uh, uh, 20,030. Okay. Why do the product of multi-digit number with zeros and one-digit numbers sometimes have zeros in them and sometimes have no zeros in them? When the one-digit number is multiplied by zero, the product is zero. Okay. However, sometimes there are regroup numbers that need to be added to the product of zero. I hope you understand the lesson, guys. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you so much have a nice day